Hey guys, this is AS Organic and we're doing cis-trans isomerism in this video. Cis-trans isomerism is a form of stereoisomerism and there are two types of stereoisomerism that you need to know. Cis-trans isomerism and optical isomerism. So, to understand cis-trans isomerism, let's take, go back to the definition of isomerism. Isomerism was when you have different compounds that have the same molecular formula but different arrangement of atoms. Now, cis-trans isomerism only occurs in alkenes. Why alkenes? Because alkenes have a double bond. Now, whereas alkanes, normal alkanes, have single bonds. So, this bond will not show cis-trans isomerism. But two carbon atoms that have double bond between them will show cis-trans isomerism. Now, in alkanes, right, alkanes, you can simply rotate this carbon atom or any side of the carbon atoms so that Let's say I have chlorine and hydrogen, I have hydrogen and bromine. Now, when I rotate this side of the carbon atom, right, I can rotate this carbon side freely. I don't, And the molecule that I get after rotating this uh, carbon side is this atom uh, co uh, compound right here. Is Are both of these same? Yes, they are. Why? Because no bones or no uh, electron arrangement was disturbed in this transformation. So this and this are the same now, when you have a double bond, which consists of a pi bond and a sigma bond, the problem comes when you have this pi bond. This pi bond will stop the, the carbon atoms from rotating, right? Now, I can't simply rotate this side of the carbon atom or this side of the carbon atom because I have this pi bond. And this pi bond is due to this double bond right here. But when I had alkanes, right, alkanes only had sigma bonds. And sigma bonds allows free rotation of any side of the carbon atom. So I have a pi bond. I can't freely rotate any side of the carbon atom. But hey, I want to rotate it. So I do rotate it. What do I get? So let's say I, uh, I, rotate, the, I rotate this side of the carbon atom. And I get chlorine and hydrogen on this side. I flip this and I get this side rotated. So now these two compounds are completely different. Why? Because a pi bond will cause restrictions on the rotation. You can't simply rotate freely. So to rotate, however, you still want to rotate, then you have to break this pi bond, right? Rotate this completely and then form new bonds. Now when you form new bonds, you make new compound. So these two compounds are different, two different compounds, right? These are two different. So this breaking and formation of new bond causes the known cis-trans isomerism. So I flipped this side of the carbon atom and the hydrogen which was initially down came up and the bromine went down. Now this is what we call trans. This compound right here is what we call cis. So in trans isomer right the same compound the same groups must be facing each other 180 degrees. You can see that this right here, uh, this right here is almost 180. So in trans, right, remember that trans must be 180 degrees. Whereas in cis, the, the groups, the same groups must be facing each other. Now for cis trans isomerism to happen, you have to have some conditions. The first condition obviously is that the carbon must have double bonds between them, right? And then this is the first condition. The second, the second condition is that each carbon of the double bond must have completely different uh, groups bonded to it, right? So this side of the carbon atom must have completely different uh, groups bonded to it. This side of the carbon atom must also have different compound uh, groups bonded to it. Now let's say I have these two different compounds. Which one will show cis trans isomerism? This one. Why? Because you can see that this carbon atom, this side of the carbon atom has two different uh, groups bonded to this carbon and the left side of the carbon atom also has different groups bonded to this carbon atom. However, in the compound you see right here, you can see that this side is okay because the carbon on the left side has two different groups bonded to it, a hydrogen and bromine, but this carbon, this side of the carbon atom has two similar groups bonded to it. So when I have two similar uh, similar groups on one side, 
this will not show cis-trans isomerism. Let's say I have three different compounds, A, B, and C, and I am asked to uh, show which of these three will show cis-trans isomerism. In A, you can see that this side of the carbon atom is right because both of these have different uh, groups, but the right side of the carbon atom has two similar groups on one carbon. And this means it cannot show, A cannot show cis-trans isomerism. In B, you have the similar case. The left side has different uh, groups, which is right, but the right side of the carbon has same groups bonded to the carbon. This also means B cannot show cis-trans isomerism. Now in C, the left side has two different groups. The left side is right, and the right side ha also has two different groups, you can see. So C will show cis-trans isomerism. Which form of isomerism is this? Is it cis or is it trans? This form is known as trans. Why? Because you can see that CH3 and CH3 is almost 180 degrees. Same goes for the hydrogens. You can see the similar hydrogens are 180 degrees. So this is known as trans isomerism. So let's say I have this big compound right here. And you are uh, you are told to find the number of cis trans isomers there can be in this compound. So I have, first of all, what I see is three double bonds, right? One, two, and three. So there are six possible cis and trans isomers that can form because remember each double bond can form two isomers the cis isomer and the trans isomer let's say i name this double bond one this double bond two and this double bond right here three in double bond one the left side of the carbon the left side of the double bond has a carbon which has two hydrogens right this side has two hydrogens and on the right carbon, which is this one, I have one hydrogen, right? This one hydrogen. And what what else is here? Well, this complete, complete group will come right here. So this has one, two, three, four, five, six carbon atoms, so C6. And it's right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So H9, right? C6, H9. Now, the left side has two similar groups on one carbon. That means this would not show cis-trans isomerism. So in the second double bond, my left carbon atom, which is this one, has one hydrogen, one hydrogen, and this complete group on the bottom side. So the bottom side will have one, two carbons, so C2, and three hydrogens, so H3 double bonded to the right side which has one hydrogen right so this has one hydrogen and this entire group on the bottom side which will come right here now what is that uh, there are four carbon atoms one two three and four carbon atoms so this will be c4 and two three four five six seven hydrogens so h7 now the left side of the carbon has Two different groups right on the right side I also have different uh, groups one so since both carbons have two different atoms around them it will exhibit cis trans this will show cis trans isomerism and one isomer would be cis the other isomer would be trans so at the moment I have two isomers that will be formed for due to this double bond in the final double bond double bond three this carbon atom is bonded to one hydrogen, so one hydrogen, and the bottom side will have this entire group right here. This entire group will come down, which would be uh, C5H8, because I have one, two, three, four, five carbon atoms, and I have eight hydrogens, so C5H8. And on the right side, I have a hydrogen on the top and at the bottom I have the CH3 group so CH3 since both sides both carbon atoms have two different groups bonded to them they will exhibit cis trans isomerism so in total there will be four isomers of this compound right here two from this double bond right here on double bond two and two from the double bond at number three